Crystal Palace were soaring towards the end of a 23-24 season. They reached seven games unbeaten under Oliver Glasner. Michael Elise has packed his bag and he's set to depart. And Chani Riyad and Diatra Kamada have both signed, so it's time for a realistic rebuild. Our budget is £20 million, but with Elise's departure, that increases it to 70. Looking at our lineup, my main goal is a replacement for the magic man, Michael Elise, as well as creating some squad depth, which Oliver Glasner and Dougie Freeman have already started. To replace Elise's role, my top three targets are Bakayoko, Somerville and Antonio Nusa. I'm avoiding Matthias Sule because of his high fee and popularity. I'm purchasing 19-year-old prodigy Antonio Nusa, who is said to be interested in this move in real life, for £20 million. So that decreases our budget to £50 million. Mateta has been crucial on firing form at the end of last season. His backup, Odson Edward, is good, but we need someone to step up. So I'll sell Odson Edward for £20 million and I'll purchase AC Milan's 23-year-old striker, Charles De Catella, for a fee of £40 million. Tyreek Mitchell has been insane recently and he was unfortunate not to receive a call-up for the 2024 England squad. This one's about to happen in real life. Ryan Sessegnon as a free agent. Apparently he's training with Palace as we speak right now. With £30 million, it's ideal to sign Joe Bellingham, but with an extensive amount of midfielders, I don't think he'll fit into Oliver Glasner's 3-4-3 formation. So I'm after another winger because Antonio Nusa is only young. There's loads of hype around him. It's Sorencio Somerville. Here is my final squad.